Hey everybody, Jerry Goins here. What if I told you that just by having a business here with Novate that you can cash flow an extra $100 to $400 in your paycheck every month without even having to sell anything? Listen, because you have a home-based business, the government gives us special tax deductions that you can actually get to show up in your paycheck. Use that extra cash flow to pare down debt, get out of debt faster, increase your credit score faster, and start to invest in your future so you can cash flow your way to financial freedom. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to set the stage here for you so you can understand what we're up against. So let's say there's two people, they both have $50,000 incomes. One person does not have a home-based business, so they don't get any tax deductions. So they're taxed on the full $50,000 and they owe taxes on the $12,500 here. No cash savings. Person B has a home-based business, so they get $10,000 in tax deductions. That means they only pay taxes on 40 grand. That means they only owe $10,000 in taxes and they save $2,500. Now, if we divide this $2,500 up into 12 months, then that comes out to just over $200 back in that person's paycheck every month that they could expect. So let's show you how to exactly get that. For help, we're gonna to go to irs.gov. Don't be afraid of the IRS. There's nothing hidden with these guys. You know, everything is well publicized. You just have to read a little bit. So the form that we're gonna to need to do this is called Form W-4. It's right here on the main page. It says here to complete Form W-4 so that your employer can withhold the correct federal income tax from your pay. Consider completing a new Form W-4 each year and when your personal or financial situation changes. So you should already be doing this. The last time you've probably seen a W-4 is when you got hired though. So that's just some more financial education. Ask someone to say, hey, when's the last time you did your W-4? What is that? You know. So it's just lets you know that there's a lot of information that's out here for us to get and Obey is here to help you get that cash flow that you need. That's why we call it cash flow intelligence. So this right here is the employee's withholding certificate, AKA form W-4. And to fill this out quickly and easily, we're gonna skip down to step two, letter A. It says use the estimator at irs.gov slash W-4 app for the most accurate withholding. So let's go ahead and do that. You can read on the recent tax law changes, scroll down a little bit more and you'll see this blue button that says use the tax withholding estimator. So let's go ahead and get started. First, you need to know your filing status. Single just means you're unmarried. Married filing jointly, of course, that just means that you're married and you and your spouse are both filing a tax return together. Married filing separately, usually you use that if there's an income difference between you two and one doesn't want to be held liable for the other, or if there's medical expenses involved, get with your CPA or your tax preparer if you really want to know the differences. Uh, and of course, head of household, which uh, if you're single and you have dependents or children, you want to file that. And of course, qualifying widower. Now, there's also a a help tip here so if you click that then it kind of gives you a definition so you can read that to yourself and figure out what is your filing status in this example we're going to be um, a single dad with one child so we're going to say head of household can someone else claim you as a dependent on their tax return most people are going to say no if you're living on your own how many dependents do you have we're just going to say one in this case one child and of course you can click on the tax help little tip here and it tells you what a dependent is so you're never really in the dark with this um, income. Will you do you or will you hold a job this year? We're going to say, yeah, absolutely, because that's why we're doing a W4 in the first place. Right. How many jobs do you expect to hold this year? Let's just say one. And will you receive income from a pension? We'll say no. So step five, you want to check everything that applies to you here. Main thing is that you earn a net income from self-employment. OK, and if you see that any of these other things fit you then go ahead and check that off too so that way you get the best estimate for your unique situation everybody's different no one's w4 should look the same okay so your job let's get some information now about our income and withholding so do you expect to hold this job the entire year we'll say yes how frequently are you paid we'll say every two weeks enter in the last day that you got paid let's say it was friday Actually, let's say it was the 17th. That way we have two weeks in there. Your total wages that you expect to receive this year. Let's use that $50,000 example. Enter any bonuses here, like sales or incentives or anything like that. 
Using your last pay statement, enter the total federal income taxes withheld. So you're just gonna look on your paycheck stub and see exactly how much um, taxes have been held year to date or YTD, look for that number. Let's just say in this example, 400. And in the last check, let's say 200 was withheld from the last check. Do you or will you contribute to a tax deferred retirement plan like a 401k? I hope you are, but in this case, let's just keep it simple and say no. Did you or will you contribute to an HSA, FSA, pre-tax child care credit account or other cafeteria plan? If you're not sure what that is, click the little question mark here and it'll explain that to you. In this example, we'll say no. Other sources of income and tax payment. So. For this, we're gonna put in $600 because once you cross the $600 threshold, that's when Nove has to send you a Form 1099. Uh, you don't need that Form 1099 or you don't need to actually make $600 to actually claim this on your taxes, but that's that just lets the IRS know that you're not in a hobby business, okay? The IRS does not want to give you credit for a hobby. You actually wanna be trying to make a profit. Um, and $600 is not very hard. So next, just enter in the estimated federal income tax that you paid. For this example, we'll just say zero. Okay, so next we're looking at adjustments to income. In this example, you want to click on the C adjustments and scroll down towards the bottom. And you'll see this one right here. It says certain business credits. This is the magic box right here. This is where you get to put in your estimated tax deductions for the year. Remember, we're using the example of 10,000. So let's go ahead and do that. And click next deductions from income to keep it simple we're just going to take the standard deduction here and let's go ahead and get our results so in this example we overpaid by thirty two hundred dollars this year so that would be our refund of thirty two sixty six so if we scroll down you'll see this little line graph and let's say you didn't want to get a refund of thirty two sixty six okay Ideally, you don't want to owe the government anything and you don't want them to owe you anything. You want to be right at zero. That way you have the most cash flow. Okay. So to have a refund of zero, that means that just read right here to get your desired refund amount, you will need $58 withheld from your paycheck. That's $142 less than your current tax withholding. And since you get paid twice a month, that's $280 that's coming your way in extra cash flow every month. How to adjust your W-4? Click this little bar right here. It'll tell you exactly what to put in, or you can download the pre-filled W-4 form right here. You put in your name, you sign it, and then you give it to your employer. It's already filled out. See, before this, you had to go through all these charts and do all these calculations. Now you don't have to do that. It takes out all the guesswork. And let's go back now to our adjustments and let's see what we would have done if we didn't have this $10,000 in business deductions. Look at this, you would have had a refund of about $1,200 less for the year. And instead of cash flowing $280, you would only cash flow $180, okay? So that lets you know the power of this home-based business. Now, if that extra $100 does not sound like a lot, let me show you what you can do with that extra $100. Let's say you had a car note that was $17,000, you just started it this year, and it had a five-year term on it at a 15% interest rate. That puts it at about $400 a month, which is about the average car payment. You would pay about $7,200 in interest but if we took that extra hundred dollars and applied it to that car note, guess what happens? Just by putting in that extra one hundred dollars, look what happens. You save 15 months or 1.3 years and over two thousand dollars just for putting an extra hundred dollars towards that car note. Now you have a seventeen thousand dollar car paid off completely and you have an extra five hundred dollars a month. That's that four hundred dollar car payment plus your one hundred dollar additional cushion. Now, what can you use that $500 for? I'll give you two places that you can put it. One is towards your house. So let's say you have a $200,000 home over a 30 year payment at a 3% interest rate. If you didn't have any extra money going towards it, then of course you would go the full term all the way 30 years and you would pay about $103 thousand dollars in interest 
that should blow someone's mind because that's half of the cost of the house and you just pay that in interest alone. Let's say you actually put the extra $500 towards that every month. You would save $53,000 over the course of that loan and you would get it paid off 14 and a half years sooner. That's tremendous. That means that it basically cut a 30 year mortgage into a 15 year mortgage. Okay. And you didn't come up with that extra money just randomly. We use the extra hundred dollars from your home based business tax deductions. We added it to your car note and then we used the savings once you paid your car off and put it into your house note and then we paid your house note off that much faster. Here's another place that you can put that extra five hundred dollars here. We're going to investor.gov and we're starting off with two thousand dollars. Monthly contribution of five hundred. We'll say 15 years, which if you applied that five hundred dollars towards your mortgage, that's how fast you would have paid it off. And let's use an eight percent rate of return, which is easy to do if you get with the right professional. That's eight percent rate of return. And we're going to say that it compounds monthly. Let's go ahead and calculate that. Look at that. In 15 years, you would have one hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars. So you can put it in the house and pay off your house in that amount of time, or you can put it in an investment fund and have one hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars in investments. So that just shows you what you can do with that little extra hundred dollar payment on your car note. So that gives you some cash flow intelligence for today. I hope you enjoyed this training on how to adjust your W-4 thanks to your home-based business deductions. Again, my name is Jerry Goins. Have a great day and welcome to Nove.